So today we are doing a combustion test on a single stage, high efficiency condensing furnace, 92% uh, AFUE. And we're using the Cytron Novo Combustion Analyzer, all right? So with this kind of system, there's a couple things you need to understand. Um, first of all, we are piping the air in from the outside, okay? So we have to make sure we are taking two measurements, one for the incoming air temperature, the other for the stack temperature. So this analyzer actually has dual thermocouples, one on the single connector, the other on the T2 port for the type K. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take my secondary thermocouple and I'm gonna plug it into the incoming air port. That's for my uh, primary air temperature. And then I'm gonna take the sampling probe for the analyzer and I'm gonna put this midway into the stack. So you wanna touch the back wall, draw it back about halfway, and then um, leave it in the flue like so, all right? So now we can see, um, as we have the, the probes in the stack, we can see our combustion uh, readings are changing. So now oxygen is dropping down. So now we're at 13%. Carbon monoxide is about 4.5 uh, parts per million. You can also see we have our carbon monoxide air free reading. Your CO air free reading will always be higher than your normal carbon monoxide reading because it is removing the diluting effects of all that excess air, okay? So now we can see our O2 is at 8.3%. Combustion efficiency is at 92.6%. Um, now we can also notice this analyzer is currently simultaneously measuring our gas pressure along with our combustion, right? So you can see the live P gas measurement for gas pressure is 3.47 inches of water column, okay? So what we can do is now we can adjust the gas valve to bring this back in um, to 3.5 inches of water column. That's where we wanna be, all right? So I'm gonna make my adjustments here. So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit and you can see as I make my adjustments, you can see my gas pressure is increasing slightly. So just about at 3.5. Just make sure you get as close as possible to 3.5 inches water column. Um, that's where these systems are designed to operate. So once your readings have stabilized, um, one of the things that you can do is, using the Novo Combustion Analyzer, you hit the snapshot button to save your readings, and then I can either print out my readings directly using the, in, the internal printer, um, or I can actually save my readings back into a previously stored um, customer folder. So let's say I want to save it, hit the save button, and now I can either create a new customer or update an existing customer. So I'm gonna update an existing customer. Let's say I work at a hospital, hit next. Let's say I have two boilers, click on boiler two, press save. So now the memory is being saved into the um, archives menu. So now I can go back to the archives menu and I can view the data in the hospital folder, boiler two, everything's date and time stamped. There's my analysis that I've just saved. I also have the ability to create a QR code and I can scan that QR code um, using my mobile app, which is free for the combustion analyzer. All right. Um, so the other nice thing about the Novo, once again, is that you have a large um, display screen showing all your combustion results um, simultaneously. Um, you can also scroll down to see your other measurements. So once again, um, we have our uh, flue gas temperature, our primary air temperature, and our delta T, as well as our live draft pressure.